Hello and welcome. Let's print a 3D object. Let's assume that you already have a design and you have saved your design as an STL file like I have here. I created a keychain using my initials and the file type is .stl or stereolithography. The next step that I need to take to print my object on the 3D printers here at KSU is I need to come over to the 3D printer OS software in this browser and I need to create an account. So there I see a variety of different options here. I see different kinds of it says education, etc. But really I need to click on sign in. And in this case, I actually already have an account with my faculty associated with it, my faculty rights. But I'm going to create an account using another email address I have. And I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my name here. And I'm going to use a different email address I have. So that it looks just like what you're going to see like that. Create an account. All right. Now I'm going to receive an email. I'll go ahead and confirm that email. Come to the top and click this button or this link. All right. And here I arrive in the files area. I see that I can add files. I see that they've given me a few files to play with. And there's some tutorials I could learn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add Files. I'm going to select from my computer. And I'm going to go get that file right here and add it. All right. Now I do see that I have an option here to slice. And I'm going to just hold off on that for a second because actually I need to add my printers and over here I see I can make projects I've got a lot of little options here under the printers I don't see any printers what I need to do is click these three buttons up here and when I click those three buttons I need to choose add workgroup printers now you may have received a code to add printers so on your instructions if you find uh, a code, then you would add it here. And so I have a code, an access code. And as soon as I add that, I see that I actually have six printers I can print to. And they are located in the Burris Building, room 477. So the little tag on these things tells me that. I can see a little bit about them. I can even click on this video feed to see more there. And uh, gives me a little bit of a chance to do some things. All right, now that I have printers, I actually, my, uh, my slicing is a, an aspect of 3D printing that you may not have thought about. But when you make a 3D print, you have to tell the printer how to layer the plastic to make the object. And those layers are slices of your 3D design. So we've, we've done the part where we made the design, but now I need to come over here and hit slice. And when I hit slice, after adding the work group, it knows that my printer is this Creality Ender 3D, and it's automatically giving me this slicing profile. There are a couple of things I need to know. Slicing does matter. It does indicate it will make some differences in terms of how well my object prints. For our printers, because the air conditioner is going so strong, we need to bump the heat up. The extruder heat is the heat of the nozzle where the plastic comes out. That's what 
actually melts down the plastic to allow it to flow. And that extruder should be at 210 degrees Celsius. The table is where the object has to stick to the table because the table moves around as the extruder pushes out the plastic. And so what we need is the table to actually be warm enough to stick the plastic to it. And we found that the best temperature for that is about 60 degrees Celsius. My object, which I can see here, is flat to the bed of the printer. If it weren't flat to the bed, I would need to turn on supports. So if you've got overhangs or your object you know, is, is round on the bottom or something like that, you'll need to turn on supports and the printer will actually accommodate that. Now I want a better shell. I actually want it pretty strong. And it's actually going to be, because my object's only two millimeters thick, it's gonna print solid at this point. And if I want it to look nicer and be finer It'll take more time, but I can do this uh, layer thickness, make it thinner so that it'll look finer. So I'm gonna end up with a, a nicer object that way. And then the infill says how thick the fill should be inside the object because it's keychain and it could snap off of the keychain. I'm gonna try it at 33 right now. But these are the options that you use to actually make uh, you make your choices and in your uh, print. So that's it. I can see other options, like I can see how much this would cost. I could estimate it. Because our right now it's free to print, uh, I don't have to think about that, but if you were printing for your personal uses, not for a class, then uh, you would get a subscription from the 3D Center and you could uh, then print as much as you like, but it would get charged to your account. All right, so I'm going to click Slice, and the software has now made me this G-code file. Notice I have an STL file, and I have a G-code file inside of my DT keychain project. The cost of this keychain to print is four cents, so it's really not an issue, and it'll take about 16 minutes to print. And so now I can just click Print, and I can choose the printer I want to use. So let's say I want to use printer number one. I can go over here and I can hit print. If the printer is busy, I will only see the Q button and I will just click Q. If I'm in a class, let's say that I'm in uh, IS 2200, 10 a.m. and I am in Professor Shavers, class, I would put that on the note here, and I would go ahead and hit print. And at this point, if my printer has a video feed, I can watch the print happen. There are some issues with printing where it will, uh, the heat is going to go up. I can go through a whole variety of options here, and this window will stay open as it's printing, and then I will be able to uh, see my print at the very end. So with that, I have now completed my print process from the software side. The next thing I would do is go to the lab or if I'm online and I'm going to receive my print from online, I would need to send a note. That note should have included the address and mailing instruction uh, for receiving my print. That's it. Uh, happy printing. I hope it all goes well. Please note that uh, sometimes your print doesn't actually uh, work quite right. Sometimes it breaks off from the bed or you have to print it a second time and re-slice it to change the settings to make it a little uh, better, especially if you forget to bump the heat of the bed or the extruder. So you might have to run your print more than once. That's okay, that's part of the reason this is an emerging technology and it's not all smooth and easy yet. Uh, and that's why it's valuable to learn it too because it takes some skill and thought to make it effective. So uh, like I said, happy printing. I hope it all goes well. Uh, take care.